Uh, yeah, I suppose that is my own stubbornness that I wanted to become a writer um, because since I was a kid I liked writing and and I suppose I did this and even even Gabo I think wasn't convinced that it was a very good idea because I would always kind of be in his shadow and indeed that's what tends to happen. I managed to avoid it a long time when I was doing cinema there wasn't so much relation, but now that I'm right, trying to write books, it comes up a lot more. And in certain situations more than others, I always try to keep it separate and do my own thing, but there's no escaping it. So yeah, it's kind of a, it's a blessing and a curse. I think I probably, I certainly read uh, the work of my grandfather when I was younger and I certainly liked it but it probably wasn't the, what drew me to writing. What drew me to writing was probably other sorts of stories. I grew up on Edgar Allan Poe and Horacio Quiroga which is another horror writer uh, from, South, from South America and uh, probably I got more into reading my grandfather's work older uh, as a writer and as a writer st I studied him later on in life and and I certainly was impressed I, I understand what all the fuss is about especially like when I read some of his short stories and when I especially when I got to the ending of Cien Años de Soledad I understood that he had really done a big literary project and and, and I understood what all the fuss is about. So yeah, it probably wasn't what drew me. What drew me was probably also an education close to books and close to stories. But the works of my grandfather, I studied later on in life. Yeah, my novel is about a young man who is addicted to drugs and he goes off to a small secluded town in Mexico uh, with the intention to die because he's been an addict for so long that he's tired with life and and he's he has become closer to death than to life. And so he wants to end it once and for all and he goes to this town and sort of the experience with the drugs and the experience getting nearer to death becomes more and more delirious and closer to closer to dream and to delirium than to reality itself as he goes down a spiral of of, of dying and of and of entering the world of the dead which is kind of this new town that he arrives into is a kind of world of the dead uh, where he starts interacting with more and more closely with with death and with the dead and starts little by little becoming one as well and that's more or less the story in a nutshell there's a it's very eclectic and very diverse right now the panorama in in Mexico, I mean the ones, the writers my age that that I would mention, like uh, maybe Daniel Saldana, like uh, Valeria Luiselli, like Fernanda Melchor, like um, I mean they all have very different and diverse uh, literary projects. I think maybe what draws everyone together with exceptions because not everyone is doing that is the language itself the language from mexico it is spanish but it's a very peculiar kind of spanish it's, it's very playful it's very it's kind of naughty it's kind of um, it's, it can be very sentimental it has very it has nuances with other sorts of Spanish spoken in the continent that make it a very particular way to communicate and and the things that we communicate are very particular. They, they can be violent, they can be sentimental, they can be... Um, I don't know, they're, they're so diverse and so different that it's really hard to put everyone in a single basket.
Well, I always wanted to write fiction and books, uh, but somehow cinema, I think, is a beast that catches you and doesn't release you until it wants to. Uh, for me, I, I started wanting to write fiction, but I, but I quickly got into screenwriting because I was surrounded by filmmakers and 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 it was a way for me to train in in storytelling and to learn from other people sort of the tools of the trade of storytelling and so i started getting more and more into screenwriting and it's what i spent most of the last decade doing even though it's a difficult industry not many the, the screenplays often don't end up being movies they end up just being screenplays and so um, I was happy to sort of transition into fiction where the writer has a lot more power over the final story than in, than in cinema. I've always liked to travel and, and I, I lived in Europe for several years in, in England and in France and I've, I've traveled around I, well, now I'm in India. So I've traveled a little bit around Asia before, but never in India. Through Europe a lot, through America a little bit. And all of my travels inform my stories a little bit. Some of, some of the places I've been in end up in the novels, always uh, reworked into a sort of fiction. And I think also what's good about traveling is that you get to see your own place in a different light. When you come back, when I came back to Mexico after being away for so long, I saw it in a different light and I was able to write about it in a way that I probably couldn't have done if I had stayed all the time there. So yeah, traveling, I think, has been a very enriching Not me personally, I don't deal with Gabo's uh, author rights. Uh, but yeah, I mean, but people do ask sometimes to make movies about his stories. And I know he resisted it because fiction in a way belongs to the reader and the reader gets to make his own movie. And that in a sense is a lot richer and a lot more diverse than subjecting the story to the single vision of a single director uh, and I know he resisted it because of that but um, I know there's gonna be adaptations of his works like a hundred years of solitude is coming out in Netflix soon and I, I don't know if we can expect the same the same richness as in the book but I'm sure it's gonna be interesting to watch and and us fans, it will be interesting to watch and to critique, to like, like or not like. Uh, but it, but it's, it's good that it will be there, in my opinion. Yes, I'm working in my own projects of fiction mostly. I, I, I do work a little bit in, in screenplays occasionally. Uh, I have a few screenplays that I'm either um, working in workshops or, or trying to make into uh, series or movies. Uh, but it's a slow process and it's always kind of complicated to, to produce uh, screenplays. So I'm focusing more on fiction and I'm writing short stories and, and longer short stories that may become novels. I'm, I'm not really sure. And, 